How has 60 song travelled over? Well, uh, she travelled pretty well. Um, she arrived in uh, London uh, last uh, Sunday at 8 o'clock in the morning at Stansted Airport. And he went directly from Stansted to Newmarket. So it was a good, good flight. And uh, where is he staying in Newmarket? Uh, right now he's in Abingdon Place. Uh, it's a, a great stable, uh, a great place for, for training the horse. Uh, very comfortable, so we are in a, in a good hands, we are in a good place, and we are uh, very, very um, delighted to be there. And um, you're the first uh, team to ever bring an Argentinian horse to the UK. How, how does that feel? Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing to be here with the first, uh, this is our first one uh, horse that comes from Argentina to run here. Uh, so it's, um, uh, it's a um, lot of emotions. Um, we are delighted to be here, we are uh, proud of the horse, we are proud of our team, uh, proud of our owners, so uh, this is like a dream come true. And as we heard inside, um, he's rated pretty highly against the European horses even, but his price is slightly bigger. Do you think he's better than his price in the market? Um, well, uh, this is a tough, tough race. The, the, the best of the um, European horses run in the King George, but uh, we are here because uh, we, th we thought and we think uh, that uh, our horse is preparing for, for, for this challenge. So that's uh, why we are here. My father uh, started to be uh, an apprentice jockey when he was uh, 16 years old uh, because he, he was uh, pretty skinny at, at that time. And um, he was uh, a not uh, great uh, jockey. So when he was, I, I don't know, uh, 30, 32, he, no. Yeah, 32, I, I think. Um, he's, uh, he changed and he started training, and hopefully, um, she, uh, he, he changed uh, his career. And one year, uh, before, uh, one year after uh, start training, he um, he, uh, he won the Carlos Pellegrini. It's like the King, uh, the King George, but in Argentina, for the first time. And now, uh, 2017. Uh, uh, he won't uh, five King George, uh, five uh, Carlos Pellegrini. That's the same as King George. Okay. So. And um, just you mentioned the King George again. Back to that. There's yeah. a possibility of a softer ground on Saturday. Um, 60 song. How does he deal with soft ground? Yeah, uh, he won on the soft ground. Uh, it's not the better uh, ground for him, but uh, it's not bad. Uh, he he's a very smart uh, horse. He's smart. He's um, quiet. He's professional. So. Uh, as I said, it's not the, the, the best ground for him, but it's not bad too. So we're preparing for the horse. And uh, just before I let you go, uh, if Saturday went well, would you like to come back to Europe or travel the horse further afield? Well, uh, as I like to say, uh, step by step. First one is the King George, and after the race, we just uh, discussed with the owners, we just discussed with uh, my dad. Uh, all the operation and we just decide after the race what is going to be for him. And finally, can he win? Well, hopefully. I know there is a tough, tough race. Uh, the, as I said, the, the best European horses run this uh, King George. Uh, there's a, a lot of uh, professional horses too. So um, it's, it's a tough challenge. It's uh, yeah. tough for a South American horse. But again, as I said, our horse uh, is prepared for, for the challenge, it's preparing for the match.